So let's take a quick look at the virtual machine connection. So when we bring up the console, the Hyper-V uh, manager console, we've got our running virtual machines in here. Well, now how do I interact with those machines? Well, there's a number of ways to do that, but the first is just to right-click the machine and choose Connect. This will be the virtual machine connection, and it opens up in a separate window, as you can see here, and allows me to interact with that operating system. Right? I can take that and go full screen if I wanted to, if it would fit uh, in terms of its resolution. Uh, I also have a number of options here, uh, menu options and power options. So I can interface, I can turn off the virtual machine, I can shut it down, I can save it, pause it, um, reset it, which is the equivalent of the reset button. So a number of different options here, including even taking snapshots. So the virtual machine connection is your window into the VMs and interacting with them. Now, I can also, using these buttons, I can send a control alt delete, which will give me the opportunity to log in if I wanted to. Um, you can also use the keystroke of control alt end. So that's a little bit different than other virtualization technologies you might be used to, but control alt end, the three of those together are the equivalent of sending a control alt delete signal into uh, these machines, right? So you can send the control alt delete. Now up here I've got some options. If I go file settings, this is another way that I can get to the settings of the virtual machine to affect its memory and CPU and all the other settings that we've looked at. Uh, another way, uh, other things I can do is the action menu, control alt delete, and it's all the same things that I can do from this toolbar right here where I've got the, uh, the buttons. There's one other element in here, insert integration services setup disk. This is important to do on every operating system you install prior to Windows 7 or Windows Server 2008. Any of the previous operating systems, if your VM is XP, if your VM is Windows Server 2003, you must, after you've installed your guest operating system, you must insert this integration services disk and get those integration components uh, installed inside of the VM. It vastly improves performance. Don't be deceived to think that it's only about uh, display because the display is a little bit ugly or it's about the mouse being kind of annoying. It's much more than that. The integration services are the low-level uh, hypervisor connectivity points and without them you're running in an emulated mode and it's much much slower uh, performance for CPU, for memory, for disk I.O for network, it's all of those things. So make sure you do that. If it's Windows 7 or if it's Server 2008, those integration components are pre-built into the operating system and you don't have to install them. Now I can also come here to do media, which is where I can insert a, uh, a CD or DVD drive, right? So I can capture, in my case, drive F, which is the, the DVD drive of the host system. So I can throw in a disk in there and capture it into the virtual machine. Or I can insert a disk and then I would go and search for an ISO image, ISO image, right, which would be a, a DVD image. Or I can do the same thing with a uh, floppy drive image if I wanted to. Clipboard, I can uh, capture the screen if I wanted to, uh, type clipboard text into the virtual machine, and then just some view options and help options. So this is your virtual machine connection. It's one of the main ways that you interface. Now, obviously, you need to have the tools in order to do this. Like, I can do this because I'm working on the host and have the Hyper-V Manager installed, which includes the connection point. So you'd need to install the remote tools if you want to connect in this way. Or another option for remoting into these servers and interfacing with them, uh, your virtual machines, that is, is to go into them and configure them for remote desktop connection, just like any other server. You need to manage servers in your data center, and so we remote into them. You can do the same. You can use all your same remote administration tools. However, that assumes that the VMs are on the corporate network. You can't remote into a machine if you're not on the same network. So if there are machines that are on an isolated network, a private network on Hyper-V, uh, they're just not network accessible, then this would be your main interaction point for getting in, logging into those machines, and interfacing with them as if you were at the monitor uh, of the actual machine. So when I close the, the window on that connection point, it doesn't shut down the machine in any way. It just 
gets that window out of my way. As you can see, the virtual machine here is still running, even though I closed that window. They're mutually exclusive of each other. All of this runs as a service, so I could even log out of the host system, right? So if I were to choose to log off, I can certainly do that. All of the virtual machines will continue to run in the background uh, because this is a server-based solution, not a desktop solution like um, a virtual PC or VMware Player. So that's a little bit about how we uh, interface with our virtual machines through the VM connection point.